Hey, welcome to this video. You arrived here, you're probably searching for a view of Dolly. I'll go over how it works and give you my two cents whether I think it's a good use of your time. And if you'd like my free training on the number one simplest, fastest way to earn a full time income from home, you can click the link below. You'll see my email opt in page. Earn your best email. I can send you my free training if you want. Dolly, let's dive in. So, what it is, it's another one of those gig platforms similar to Uber and Grubhub. Um, but instead of driving people around town or delivering groceries, you'd be Move, a moving helper and you know you could be doing apartment moves um, store moves labor moves junk removal um, all sorts of types of gigs but mostly it seems to be people moving out of their homes and into new homes that seems to be the bulk of it so you definitely need to be physically fit um, you know have a strong back not be afraid of physical labor okay and they have 3.7 stars on uh, indeed uh, out of 21 reviews um the the and and so you know pretty solid and the first thing you want to do is come to become a helper click on there you'll see this page and um and the only difference between uh so you can become a helper or become a hand the difference between these two well you can get paid more of course as a helper but the difference is uh, with, as a helper, you need some sort of vehicle, so a pickup truck or cargo van or box truck uh, or SUV with a trailer that, that would allow you to deliver these products as well. Uh, a, a hand is just, you're just helping lift as lift the products. It's an important job, but the helper, it's it requires more risk on your part and a bit more responsibility, that's all. But, um, and that's kind of it. So, and also as a helper, you'd be responsible for any other equipment like the dollies, um, straps, uh, work gloves. Well, I beat the help. The hand should probably have their own work gloves. But um, you'll also need to provide a photo of your vehicle and have car insurance. And you have to factor in the wear and tear uh, on your vehicle if you're going to become a helper, right? Because that can definitely take a toll. Um, but but you also get paid more by the same token. So it's uh, pros and cons. Um, as a hand, all you need to do is show up uh, with a good attitude and, you know, have your own ride. So, like, your own car, your, maybe your own you bike there, you bus, whatever the case. Also, keep in mind, uh, these dollar amounts are just estimates. In fact, I think they're a bit on the high side. And it's going to depend on a number of factors. It's going to depend on um, how many items need to be moved for that particular job, how heavy the items are. You know, if you're carrying a refrigerator, that's going to incur more of a cost than, you know, a, a lighter appliance, a chair or something. Um, and if you're walking up and down stairs, you can also charge more. But you get to choose your gigs. So if you're not comfortable lifting super heavy or walking up and down stairs, then don't choose those gigs. And, um, and most of the time, the people hiring on Dolly, the customers are pretty honest. So they're not going to lie for the most part and say, oh, this item is lighter than it actually is just to get a discount. Because some apps, there are people that do shady things like that. But for the most part, the people on here seem pretty honest. Um, I think Dolly keeps them in check, the customers and the workers. Um, but in, but if a person does lie, like they're not, they say, oh, this is lighter than it actually was, or they don't tell you about stairs, you want to make sure you follow up with Dolly, their support team, and get that and make sure you're being compensated the proper amount for that. So, um, but most of the time you shouldn't have a problem with that. In fact, the customers on here tend to be quite grateful, and because you're doing a job lifting heavy objects that they necessar wouldn't necessarily be able to lift themselves, and it might not seem like a big deal to you to move a couch, but to do maybe an older person, it's it's a it is because they can't do it themselves um, without you know risking injury. So. Um, now, if you are interested in one of these, you just click. So you click to become a helper, for example. You come to this page. Um, there, there's a bit of an application process. The um, This one, it's a bit shorter, but still, they want your name, uh, address, uh, city, vehicle type, all that good stuff. And um, and then you'll need you know a driver's license. You'll need a, a selfie. You'll need have to have to have a background check done for both whether you're a helper or a hand and you have to pay for the background check yourself but it's not that expensive um, you'll go through their onboarding and training and then you'll download the app for ios or android and you'll have access to all the jobs in your dashboard your on your phone 
or you can just log in on desktop. Um, it should take between five to 10 days to from initial application to getting accepted. So it is a bit of a process, but they're not that super selective at the same time. Um, you don't need any credentials. You don't need any experience as long as you show willingness to work and you live in one of these uh, 45 US cities. That's all you need to do. So, and if you see a job that interests you, all you would do is you'd swipe it in the app and you have a certain amount of time uh, to go to that job and you wanna make sure you are punctual and um, just follow the instructions and you'll meet up, you'll greet the, um, the host and also and meet the other worker. And then when you're done the job, you swipe as well. And then you're also, I should mention, that's kind of how it works in a nutshell. And then you are cover, um, you're not covered by damage insurance for the, for the home. You are for the objects, but not the home. So if you do damage the home, then that could come out of your paycheck. So you want to be really uh, careful with that. So, so here are their terms, damage protection. So just be very careful moving around walls and such. So what's my final verdict? Do I recommend Dolly? Well, uh, the pros and cons to it, right? The pros are the tips tend to be quite good because people are grateful. It's not like an Uber where they don't understand how, how hard you're working, even though Uber does require real work. With with moving stuff, it's it's obvious, right? It's strenuous work, so people are happy and happy to tip you well for the most part. So you might get 10, 20, $30 plus tips for one uh, one job that doesn't take you that long. And convenient payout. So it pays that they pay out via PayPal twice a week. And I think that's the easiest method to get paid anyway is PayPal. The cons are there's um, limited jobs in certain locations. So if you live in a busy area, probably more jobs. Some people have complained the pay has gone down in recent years. So that's closer to more like uh, $25 for... Well, oh, I didn't mean to click that up. $25 for the help, for, sorry, $40 for the helper, now $25 for the hand instead of $50, $35. So it's gone down slightly. We can debate why that is. But um, also, uh, another con, this could be potentially dangerous work, um, especially as we get older, we don't heal as quickly. So you just want to be careful, make sure, you know, you're lifting with proper form. If you're not comfortable lifting, a uh, certain amount of weight or in an awkward position, then then don't do it. It's not worth risking your health because, you know, uh, you just you just want to be careful. I mean, health is wealth, as they say. Um, and the income potential, I would say it's good compared to other gig apps, but it's not great in that I don't think it's going to be very difficult to turn this into a full-time income, I think, if that's your goal, because it's just very unlikely you're going to get a steady flow of work, you know, 40 hours a week, which is kind of what you'd need on this pay to earn a full-time income. Um, I mean, if you're very entrepreneurial and you signed up to multiple of these gig apps and you and you planned your routes correctly, then maybe you could, and, and you're and really um, strategic with your scheduling, maybe you could turn this into a full-time income. But you just have to really plan things really well. And I think it's gonna be quite difficult uh, even, even doing that. That's kind of it, that's my review. It's a perfectly good app, you can check it out if you want. But look, maybe you're here not necessarily because you want to be a mover. Maybe you're looking for a way to earn money um, and maybe earn money from the comfort of your own home, whether that's a full-time income or a part-time income. If that's the case, what I suggest is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I could send you my free training. That'll detail a business model. You could do 100% from home. All you need is a computer or desktop or laptop. You don't need to be traveling to different locations. And it's a very simple beginner friendly business model. And I think the income potential is much higher than with Dolly. And that's it, I hope you, and you're not risking your you know, body <laughs> as well. So which can be a, come a problem, especially as we age. I mean, I don't know if you wanna be doing this kind of work when you're you know, 60, right? So that's it, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope to see you on the other side and I hope you have a great day, bye.